Would it harm game balance to allow the haste action to be used to drink a potion? The haste spell specifies the target gains an additional action on each of its turns. That action can be used only to take the attack one weapon attack only, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object action. And it has already been established that the use an object action cannot be taken to use a magic item, which to my understanding includes drinking a potion. Would it break balance much to actually disregard that rule, and allow the drinking of a potion as one of the actions granted by haste? Hashtag not with a typical amount and quality of potions in my experience running and playing games, players have a fairly limited supply of potions. In Tier 2, each player typically has one or two buff potions and a small supply of healing potions. With your proposed change, a hasted player deciding how to use their additional action will most often weigh drink this potion versus attack this enemy once. First of all, who are you casting haste on? Frontliners typically hit things and get hit in return. They benefit from all aspects of haste, an additional attack, plus two, ack, and better speed and dex saves. Their best use of the hasted action is probably to attack, but they may drink a powerful buff potion, ranged DPS just as the hitting, ideally. They don't get as much benefit from the AC and speed, but the additional attack and deck saves are still nice. Like frontliners, it's probably best for them to just attack, rogues love being hasted. Using ready, they are able to sneak attack twice per round, but not per turn. They are unlikely to do anything but attack with the hasted action. Backline spellcasters don't benefit too much from haste, even with the proposed change. They are now able to use their action to cast and still drink a potion, but most potions are better used on frontline characters. On turns where they don't want to drink a potion, their hasted action is typically wasted, so what sort of potions could they be drinking? Hash hashtag potion of healing the classic healing potion, heals for 7 HP on average. By the time someone's casting haste, the party barbarian has 55 plus HP and the fighter isn't far behind. Healing 7 HP isn't nothing, but it's unlikely to be worth foregoing an attack. Healing in 5e is largely a waste, unless the target is unconscious. There are exceptions, big spells like heal and nasty enemies that kill when they drop you to 0 HP. More powerful healing potions exist, but they scale rather poorly. A potion of superior healing heals for 28 HP on average, the same damage a single player takes from failing a fireball save. The potion is also rare, which places it roughly at the same power level as a potion of invulnerability. The latter has far more damage removing potential when used properly. Hash hashtag powerful buffs a potion of invulnerability seems like an excellent magic item. Resistance to all damage for a minute. Unfortunately, the trade-off is skipping most of your first turn, since its short duration doesn't allow for easy out-of-combat use. The outcome of combat is usually determined within three rounds. Skipping a third of combat for damage resistance is a hard sell. Skipping one attack, though? That's more like it. Even longer-lasting buff potions, like a potion of fire giant strength, are more attractive when used with haste. The players sometimes don't know when they'll encounter a big dangerous fight, so they never pre-drink potions. Given the cost of drinking them in combat, even longer lasting buffs rarely get used. Hashtag conclusion Your proposed change will certainly increase the power of haste, but the best targets are usually better off hitting the enemy in the face, than downing a potion. Buff potions become much more usable, and thus more powerful, but as long as you don't give them out like candy, overall game balance should not be harmed.